Hello, this is Nico, and welcome to Floor Banner. I'll give you a quick introduction of the drawing tool. In Floor Banner, you can draw a plan of your house. Really, anyone can do this. Part by part, I will draw the simple house that you see over here. But first, I will give you a quick tour around the interface. Over here is your drawing area, where you can draw your plan in top view. Zoom in and out with the plus and minus. You can also zoom with your mouse wheel or for mobile devices by pinching. Move your plan around by click and drag. And here's a trick. If you want to center your plan, just click in between plus and minus. Let's take a look at the example in 3D. In the top right, there's a 3D button. And directly, you see the whole plan. In this view, you can also zoom by scrolling I rotate the view by click and drag. Let's go back to start a new floor. In the top left, there's your floor menu. Here you can add new floors and switch between floors. Let's click add new floor and name it ground floor and then click it to activate. It. In the sidebar on the left, you'll find all the tools and libraries for creating your plan. Under the first icon, you have the build tools. Here you can draw your walls, rooms, surfaces, doors, windows and structures. Also, you can upload an image of a plan that you already have and trace it in Floor Planner. The second icon gives access to the furniture section and materials and colors. Under the third icon, you find an option to place comments, draw lines, draw dimensions, and add symbols and technical icons. The fourth icon is your project settings. In the bottom, you find buttons to export, save, and quit. Alright, let's start. So, let's build the walls of our house. First, we'll make a rectangular room wall by wall. Click the draw walls, and click and release anywhere in the grid. Move your mouse to extend your wall. And you see dimensions appearing alongside. Click and release. And repeat this several times. Click and release. Move your mouse. Click and release. And click and release at the same position as the first point. And now we have a rectangular room. You can do this even quicker with the room tool. Let's undo our actions and click the Draw Room tool. Again, just click anywhere in the grid and release. Move your mouse and now you see four walls appear at the same time. Click and release again and now we have our room. Let's make a bay window in this wall. Click on the wall and press the split button, the bottom one. Let's repeat that a bit lower, click and split. And now if you move your mouse over the wall, you get a segment that you can click and drag and release. And now we have an alcove that will be our bay window. And now I'd like to have an angled corner on this side of the room. Click the wall once and press split. Move your mouse over to the corner and click and drag and release. Let's draw a second room over here. That'll be our hallway. Click the wall and now press the left icon to directly draw a wall from this point. Move your mouse to a point somewhere in the room and click again. Move your mouse downwards and make sure your mouse snaps to the wall. Then you see an orange line appear and click and release. If you move your mouse again, you see that you're still drawing a new wall. Click on the same point that you clicked before to exit wall drawing. You can also press escape for this. Notice that the inner walls are a bit thick. Click on the wall to change its properties. In the sidebar you see a slider to change the thickness. Just drag it or type the value that you want. Let me repeat that for the other wall. I click in the grid to deselect. 
You can set your default wall thickness in the project settings. Let's set it to 15. And go back to the build section. Now I'd like a toilet over here and an indoor closet. So let's use the room tool again. And start from this point. Let's click once more to finish the room. And now let's repeat that. Like this. And for the kitchen, I'd like a wall section from here to here. So let's use the wall tool. Click in the corner, move your mouse and click and release again. And this is our uh, basic wall structure for the ground floor. Let's take a look at this in 3D. Alright, that looks nice. In the next part, we'll add doors, windows and stairs. Thanks for watching and happy floor planning. Bye.